so for question number 13, um, C34, June 2014, IAL, question 13, part A, a question about trigonometry. I'm going to do the whole of 13. I've been asked to do B and C, but I'll start with A as well. So part A first, uh, express 2 sine theta plus cosine theta in the form R sine theta plus alpha. Now you get a question like this, um, straight away you go to your identities, which in fact you really probably have not done them for a while. But you can see what we want to have is something with sine of an angle plus another angle. Sine of an angle plus another angle. Okay, And so we can see that you've got something in that form over here. The sine of an angle plus another angle. Okay, So we need to take this form here, okay, which I will do. Put it on the other side so we can see it clearly where we are. That's the, that's the form we're looking for. We're looking for the cosine for the sine. Okay, The one that exact, exactly looks like the form that they've given us here. So we'll just put it here. And this is the form that we're going to look at. The one with has the, the one that with the plus on the top. Okay, sine A plus B equals sine A cosine B plus cosine A sine B. Okay, so that's what I will do is I will say, okay, I, I want to express this in that form. So I'll say that two let me make that smaller. So I can say two sine theta plus cosine theta, which means one cosine theta, is equal to, you're going to have written in the form R sine theta plus alpha. Okay, so R sine theta plus alpha, you want to write it in this form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this using this expansion here. This does not mean sine theta plus sine alpha like some people think. The sine without anything in front of it doesn't mean anything. It has to have an angle. This is the angle. And to make the expansion of this, you use this form here. Okay? Sine, the, sine, a, sine theta cosine alpha. So basically, let's just write down si, R sine theta plus alpha will be R times, and you're going to have, I'll just write that in a bracket, sine theta, okay, cosine alpha. Okay, sine theta, this is like this is like your theta, and this is like your alpha. So you've got sine theta cosine alpha plus, because we're looking, we're looking at the one that says plus, okay, this is a plus here. We use what says plus. You're gonna have cosine a sine beta, cosine alpha, cosine theta, sorry, cosine theta times sine alpha. Okay? So what we can do now is we can say that you can say 2 sine theta, 2 sine theta plus cosine theta is equal to r times sine theta cosine alpha plus r times cosine theta sine alpha. Now what we need to do here is we need to compare the two sides that we have here. Move these things out of the way a bit. Okay, so we need to compare these two sides with each other. Okay, now if you look at the sine theta on the left side, oops, I need a highlight pen. Okay, if you look at the sine theta on the left hand side and the sine theta on the right hand side, this is an identity, these two things are actually identical to each other. Okay, oops. These two things are, are, are identical to each other. So you can say that this is like 2. The coefficient of sine theta on the left side is 2. So if you look at the sine theta on the left side, or compare the coefficient of sine theta on the left side, you've got 2 sine theta. On the right side, you have r cosine alpha times sine theta. This is r cosine alpha times sine theta. So you have r cosine alpha. And if you compare the cosine thetas, you've got here 1 cosine theta. It's just 1 times cosine theta. And that's the same as on the left-hand side. If you look at the uh, cosine thetas on the left-hand side, you've got just r sine theta. Because you have r sine theta. r sine, sorry, alpha. r sine alpha times cosine theta. So we've got these two equations here. Okay. So what I can say from this is, that cosine alpha is equal to 2 over r. And I can say that sine alpha 
is equal to 1 over r. So if you think about it, you can make a right angle triangle with your alpha. It's a right angle triangle. Cosine of alpha is 2 over r, so this is r, the hypotenuse, and this is 2, which is the adjacent. And sine theta, sine alpha is 1 over r. 1 over r. So we can find out what r is by using Pythagoras. We can say r is equal to the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared. That's a 4 plus 1, so r is equal to the square root of 5. Okay, and we can find what alpha is by using tangent. We can say the tangent of alpha is equal to 1 over 2. So alpha is equal to shift tan of 1 over 2. Okay, now let's see what that gives us. We need a calculator. Okay, so let me just check if we need to be in degree mode or radian mode. Okay, degrees. Okay, degrees. Okay, so we need to find degrees and we have to give, um, okay, give uh, alpha to two decimal places. All right, so we need to find the angle to two decimal places. So we can say shift tan, it's in degree mode, yes it is, shift tan of a half. gives you shift tan over half get rid of this bracket and that gives you uh, 26.557 to two decimal places 26.57 so what we could say now if I just make a bit more space here you have plenty of space in your paper by the way you're gonna have you can say that basically you can say two cos two sine theta plus cosine theta so you can say that therefore two sine theta plus cosine theta can be written as you have root 5 times sine theta plus 26.57 okay so that's how we can write that. Yeah? So you're going to have r sine theta plus alpha. So r is root 5 and theta is 26.57. Okay, so that we can write that. Let me just make that neater. And I'll do the second part of this question in the next video. Let me just write this 26.57. I think I have to do a restart here. The pen is playing up. Okay, I'll do the next part in the next part of the video, or in the next video. Okay, thank you for watching.